Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Shining EV123 here, and we have another episode for Pokemon Pearl. That's right, another one. I know they're not getting many views, but I can't help that. Hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys can give me a shout out or share my videos with your friends and get me some more views. But in the last episode, we evolved Chimchar into Monferno, and it was an extra long episode because of technical difficulties I was having last week, or recently if you like, with the camera I used, which is just my iPad, but I finally figured out how to fix the problem, so I'm not going to be having that problem again, and yeah, we learnt Mac Punch, so hopefully this gym is going to be a little easier than if we had a Chimchar, not too easy, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Um, I'm probably just going to keep Rocky up front and switch it out when we get to the actual battle part of the gym. In fact, during the gym trainers. So, and just like every other battle that's not a boss fight, I'm going to skip through the battle with music and speeding it up. So here we go. Okay, on to the next battle. Here we go. I think the key for this gym is to definitely bring a water or grass type because Geodudes and Onyx and just m most rock types in general are actually quite defensive. So doing it like the way I'm doing it's not probably not the best way and I wasn't actually thinking about that when I was picking my team. But hopefully this isn't going to take too long, and I'm going to go back and heal really quick because I don't want to take any chances with Rock, especially one Pokemon that he has on his team, which can be a major threat, so I'll be back in just a second. Alright, and I'm back, and wow, look at that quality. <laughs> anyway, I'm back, and hopefully the battle won't take too long. I haven't saved or anything, so let's just go into it, and because this is, because this is a boss battle, I'm not going to be speeding this one up or adding music or anything like that. So let's just go straight through the battle. It may take a really long time because of what my team is, but that doesn't that that doesn't actually matter to me. And it is a little bit of an unfair fight. I'll give you that because it is. He's got three Pokemon. I've only got two. I don't know what I was thinking. Only bringing two into this fight, and I'm going to go Geodude on Geodude. Which probably isn't the smartest thing, but I want to try and save Monferno. 
for as much of this battle as possible and rock throw did absolutely nothing. There's the big threat is Stealth Rock. If he gets that up, your Pokemon are going to get damaged as soon as they come into the fight. Which is not going to be good. Especially... Especially since, uh, you know, Monferno is technically still weak to rock, even though it's still part fighting type. It's still part fire type, so it's still going to be weak to rock for, or rock type moves in general. So doing, doing this, I don't know why I'm defense curling, I honestly don't. I'm hoping, I'm just going for something and hoping it'll work. And rock throw missed. Great. Honestly, I think I think Geodude was mostly just a failsafe for me in case like something went wrong with Monferno. But I changed my mind halfway through. There's the Quick Claw. I don't think I don't think we need it because I am a one level higher than his Geodude, and I'm really sorry about that voice crack that happened just there. But you know I couldn't help that. And this is just a really boring Rock Throw battle. So um. Let's find something to talk about while this is going on. Um, I know it's been out for a while, but has anyone seen the new Star Wars movie yet? It's, uh, you know, episode 7. I did. I saw it, um, the day, like, the, the day after the opening weekend, so the Monday after it came out, because it wasn't going to be so busy, and I, I really enjoyed it. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, which I did say in my most recent video, which was quite random, and a very random video, but I thought it deserved its own little video, and other, and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm a big Star Wars fan, I have been for, like, years, and that's just me, I don't know if you guys are Star Wars fans or anything like that. Probably come here just for Pokemon, but if you guys are Star Wars fans, let me know in the comment section and let me know which Star Wars movie is actually your favourite. Mine, apart from number seven, because I'm as good as it was, there are still like some flaws in, in the plot, and you do need to see like see it in trilogies to kind of understand what's going on. But um, yeah, I definitely think number five has to be my favourite of the Star Wars movies, closely followed, surprisingly, by number three. Because number three showed us the... the rise of Darth Vader and the fall of Anakin Skywalker, basically. And, spoiler, and sorry for spoilers if anyone hasn't seen uh, episode three, but... you know, that's just how it goes. And, you know what, so many movies came out in, so many good movies came out last year, it was great, um, Jurassic World came out, um, Terminator Genesis came out, Star Wars came out, Fast and Furious 7 came out, Ted, Ted 2 actually came out, I'm a big fan of the Ted movies, the Ted, the two Ted movies, Ted 1 and Ted 2, big fans of them, I like watching a lot of movies in my free time, so you know what, if there's a good movie, Chances are I'll go see it when I have the chance, or if I get the chance. And how is I was I could have sworn I was faster than his Geo dude, but apparently not. I might be just a little bit slower. I'm going with tackle actually to to try and save some of the PP on my Geo dude. It's rock throw because I don't want to overuse rock throw in this battle. And I know this is a very boring fight, and I, and I do apologise for that, because there's not really a lot I can do with my team being what it is, and, you know, because if Monferno dies, I haven't got any way to bring it back, and then I'm stuck with using Geodude, which is something I, I honestly, I don't want to do. How much PP have I got left? Yeah, I've got five rock fries left, so I have to be careful with using them because if I run out of rock throws this is going to be a very long a longer battle than it's already been 
so I need to find something else to talk about now. Um, why would you use stealth rock when you've already got it up? Mm, never mind. Um, yeah, like I was saying, um, I've actually, even though like Christmas was as of as of when I'm recording this, like Christmas was just was almost a month ago. As of when, as of when I'm recording this. But I, I'm still waiting on some Christmas presents, and I actually got Pokemon White version today, so I'm hoping to do a walkthrough of that very soon. Like if, uh, you know, if it, once I f if I finish this game, or once I finish this game, I might start a new walkthrough. I don't want to do too many walkthroughs at the same time, because I may lose track of where I am or something like that. But. You know, that's just something I want to do. And there we go, Judy's level 14. We finally took down that um, Monferno. I'm probably not going to spend age. You know what, I'm going to switch out. I know it's going against what I said about trying to save Monferno. But honestly... Yeah, look, Self Rock didn't even do that much. And honestly... This battle is already long enough as it is, and with Onyx being as even more defensive than Geodude, I don't want this battle to be drawn out too much longer. So I'm just going to go straight for the map punch, and hopefully this Onyx doesn't do too much to me. Um, oh, nearly killed it, but he's going to potion here, so... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Ember and hope for the burn, actually, because that's something I want to do. If you get a burn, it actually halves the attack power of the opposing Pokemon, which is which can be really good. And there we go, we got it. The only problem is that wasn't on his strongest Pokemon, which I probably should have hoped for when that came out, because that's even more of a beast than Onyx. Like, he's got two defensive Pokemon. And then a really good offensive Pokemon. So he's got a good mixture on his team, I would say. But if you can, try and lower the attacking stat of this Pokemon. It's Cranidos. Or Cranidos. Crani I call it Cranidos. But if you can lower its attacking stat, I would recommend it. Because it is an all-round physical tank. And it really... It really can cause some problems. Now, honestly, I only sent in Geodude so I can heal up Monferno. I know it's only taken 17 hit points, but I don't want to take too many risks with this battle. Oh, and Leer. That's brilliant. If he uses Leer, that's actually going to lower your defenses. And Cranidos already has really high physical attack. Like anyway, and it's got both Headbutt and Pursuit. If it uses Pursuit, it has prior priority over you switching. And if he uses Pursuit while you're switching, it does double damage. Also, Headbutt has a chance of making you flinch. So, this is a very fun Pokemon to face. And that was a very unlucky break for Geodude. Because first he flinches and then he misses. This is probably the end of the line for um, Geodude, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to Potion. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Oh, he's going to Leer. Okay, I don't know if you predicted that, but... Probably... The next hit he does on me is probably going to knock me out, so... Oh, no, it didn't. That's great. Now, come on, don't flinch. There we go. Don't miss. Yes! Okay, now Geodude, no, no, it did a fair amount of damage. Didn't do the most amount that I've ever come across, but hopefully, you know, I know this is a very boring battle because it's only the first gym and I don't have anything except for Monfono that's good against rock types. I know I should have probably got something that's good against rock types. I just wasn't thinking when I picked my team, and I didn't want to change my team halfway through because I really don't 
want to. That's just it. And I have one. Oh, we got the quick claw. Yes. Rock throw. Yes. Please quit. Please quit. No. But he's used both his bows. He used Leah. Yes. Oh. That was a lucky break. But you know what? Unless the quick claw kicks in again. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Yes. All right. Come on, tackle. Please. No! Cranidus is still pr It's okay defensively, I think. I don't know, I haven't really used Cranidus in a really long time. But Rocky's dead, so Zuko, it's over to you. Avenge Geodude. And actually, in this game, I think that's the first time something's actually been knocked out, so. Props to you, Rock. You knocked out my Geo dude, and now you're going to die, <laughs> and we're going to get your gym badge because we finally deserve it after everything that this team has been through already. And if you are, if you have a Piplup, you would be evolving by now. But because I chose Gym Char, I evolved earlier. Fury swipes. So I'm going to have Fury swipes over Scratch. Because it can do the same amount, or it can even do more if it hits more than three or more times. So, it's a really good move to have. And that means we beat Rock, and we get our first gym badge of the game. And that is very exciting. Always getting your first gym badge, always very exciting. Here we go, we got the coal badge. And we all... It's nice to use Rock Smash outside of battle. We get the TM... 76, which is the TM for Stealth Rock. I'm not going to use that on my Geodude. Because I've got something else in mind for, like, um, damage as, uh, as entry hazards. But, that's just it. Yeah, I've got another thing, uh, thing in mind for entry hazards on my team. And I definitely do want to use them, because this is a gen where you kind of need to have them. Barry's already beaten the gym, so there you go. But, that, I think, is going to do it for this episode. So, yeah, we're just going to head into the Pokemon Center. And we're going to listen to the nighttime music. And this, this is the first, I think this is the first time in the game I've showed the inside of the Pokemon Center. It's very bland, there's not a lot going on. But the reason I wanted to do this was because there's actually an item I want to grab. This is only useful if you're going to do, like, Wi-Fi or... Like, union room stuff. But if you come downstairs, once you... You don't even have to have your first gym badge. You can do this the moment you enter Orberg City. But you can grab the Pal Pad. There's basically anyone you meet through Wi-Fi or in the union room. You can register their um, trainer card data into your Pal Pad. And you will remember them for a long while. So that's understood. I would have registered a friend, but... You know, all I know is my brother, and I don't know his trainer card details. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this episode was not only very short, but also very boring because of the very long rock battle. But, you know, that's what happens, isn't it? Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Pokemon Power. Shining Eevee 123, over and out.